Hi, welcome to another video in my series on matrix transformations. And in this video, what I'm going to do is show you how we can compile the matrix that represents a rotation of 270 degrees about the origin. And this is a positive angle and that represents an anti-clockwise rotation about the origin. So in other words, if we were to rotate this triangle ABC here, 270 degrees about the origin, that's 90 degrees, that's 180 degrees, 270 degrees will take us into this position here. So how do we form the transformation matrix that would transform any shape, rotate it 270 degrees about the origin? Well before we do that, let's just take that shape back to the start, okay? And as I've pointed out in the other tutorials in this series, the way we compile this transformation matrix is just to look at what we call the unit base vectors. That's the base vector 1, 0, okay, like this. And the other base vector is the one in the positive sense of the y axis. That vector is 0, 1. And we consider the movement of these two for the requested transformation. So we've got a rotation of 270 degrees here. So if this was say the hour hand on a clock pointing at 3 o'clock, if we rotate this 270 degrees about the origin, it's going to go all the way around to the 6 o'clock position down here. What would that vector be? Well it would be the vector 0, minus 1. And we do exactly the same with this vector here, the vector naught 1. Imagine this is the hour hand pointing at 12 o'clock. Turn it anti-clockwise, 270 degrees, 90, 180, 270 degrees. It's going to be pointing out in the 3 o'clock position. That vector is 1, 0. And so to compile the transformation matrix for this transformation, we take the result of moving the original vector 1, 0. It turned out to be 0, minus 1. We put that in here. And then we take this vector, the 0, 1, which when rotated 270 degrees anti-clockwise about the origin, turned out to come to 1, 0. And so that is our transformation matrix. And to prove that this works, all we do is just take an example. We'll take this triangle here. We work with this matrix. First of all, we put that down, 0, minus 1, 1, 0. And we multiply this by the matrix for the shape that we're using. So we take the position vectors of each of the coordinates A, B and C. So the position vector of A is the vector from the origin to A. So that would be 2, 1. And we write that there, 2, 1. And then we take B which is going to be 2, 3. And finally C will be 3, 1. Once you've got that, you now multiply out your matrices. And I'm assuming that you're familiar with that. If not, just go on my website. There's plenty of tutorials on matrix multiplication. Okay, so if we multiply this out in the usual way, rows by columns, starting with 0, 1, with 2, 1, then 2, 3, and 3, 1, when you carry out that multiplication, all that happens is that you get the numbers in the bottom row, 1, 3, and 1. And then when you do minus 1, 0 times 2, 1 and 2, 3 and 3, 1, what it does, it gives you the top row but just negates them. So that would be minus 2, minus 2 and minus 3. And this is the matrix that gives the image. So for instance, the point A which had was at the vector 2, 1 is now moved to the point with position vector 1 minus 2. And if we plot that point, 1 minus 2 is down here. So that's the image of the point A. 
And as for the point B, was originally at 2, 3, has now gone to the point with position vector 3, minus 2. And for that point, that's going to be 3 across, 2 down. That's going to be there. And for C, that was at 3, 1. It's now gone to point with position vector 1, minus 3. And that point is going to be 1, minus 3, down there. So there's our three points, 1, 2, 3. Let's just check out then whether that's going to rotate onto that point. So if we do the transformation again, okay, 90 degrees rotation, 180 degrees, and now 270 degrees. So yes, indeed, it does work. So do try this. Try this with other shapes, in other positions, and check out that this matrix will indeed rotate 270 degrees center the origin. Now, as I've been pointing out in this series, any of these transformations, and there's more to come as well if you haven't looked at them, like reflections and stretches, we always work off these two vectors here, the 1, 0 and the 0, 1 checking to see where they would go under the respective transformation. Then we can build up the transformation matrix. So if you're unsure of any of these, then hopefully you'll consider looking at other tutorials in this series, which can be found on my website. Okay?